uh, where where you can find the scans of Sergei's uh, uh, PhD thesis and uh, uh, Doctor of Science thesis. In principle, is any one of you who would like to touch them and put uh, them in hand, to, they are available in our library. But here, here you can find some rather readable scans of uh, thesis. And there was a, I, an idea of Vladimir Pirish maybe, maybe to publish something from the, I think, maybe it could be a, a more than a form of stage. So, so what I'll be talking about uh, will be rather closely connected with uh, what Peter discussed. I would like to discuss several aspects of uh, Monacov Santini system. Uh, what is it? I would like just to fix some properties, applications, and uh, whatever. So. What, what is this object? Because it's not a very, it's a very well-known object, and uh, to me it's, it's rather important. So, uh, it's uh, the outline of my talk, and first I'll just present what is the system, and uh, there is some new application for it, some rather fresh, I mean, it's uh, a thing uh, which is arises in uh, twi twisted theory, which is which was known. To, uh, the the object was known to be integrable by twister methods, but here it appears that Manikov's Centini is suitable for this case. And I'll discuss some similar system, and also discuss integrability properties uh, and reductions of uh, Manikov Centini. So, here at this point, it's very close to what uh, Peter showed you, and even here you see power of equation. So, what is Monaco Santini system? It's an integrable system for two functions in 2 plus 1. It arised, it was introduced by Monaco Santini as some uh, byproduct of their activity concerning the integration of dispersionless uh, KP. Because they discovered that the method, the dressing scheme they used, that first they come to this equation, and then they go, they do some reduction, and get DKP. So what is... In some sense, DKP corresponds to Hamiltonian vector fields in the life square. And Monaco Santini system is just a free case. So you have arbitrary vector fields, non Hamiltonian vector fields. So here you see that the reduction V equals zero reduces this system to DKP equation. And you can see here in the last pair that vector fields in this case will be Hamiltonian. And another reduction, u equals zero, which means that you don't have a derivative of a spectral variable in the last pair. And at this, this reduction gives you just what is now called part of equation. So, in general, monaco santini system corresponds to arbitrary vector fields. And these are two characteristic reductions here, here, here to Hamiltonian vector fields or area preserving, and here to vector fields with, uh, which do not contain a derivative of the spectral variable, which is uh, P in this case. Uh, and the, in fact, this is not the end of the story, uh, and Monaco santini system contains a rich structure of reductions, which are represented by differential, some differential relations between U and V, and these reductions do not uh, 
decrease the number of dimensions. So you will get also systems uh, into plus one. So that's it. Now, uh, and to some recent application of Monaco Santini system, which uh, was, I cannot say that introduced the, the results that I described here are, are from this paper, it's of this year, but the connection of Monaco Santini <laughs> system <laughs> and Einstein <laughs> wave structures was <laughs> first dis <laughs> discovered by Dunaisk. And Einstein wave geometry is <laughs> an <laughs> integrable <laughs> geometry <laughs> in three dimensions which uh, consists of conformal structure, which means it's a class of matrix uh, uh, and the matrices uh, and matrix <coughs> are equivalent if you just multiply them on the scalar functions, plus of equivalent <laughs> matrix. And also there is a symmetric connection which, does, which doesn't change your conformal class of the matrix, that in coordinates and uh, can be written this way. And also <coughs> here, the trace free part of the cement of the symmetrized rigid tensor of the connection vanishes. So that's written in components here. And it's known that this geometry and Steinweil geometry in 3D is integrable by Fuster methods. So here is the recent result from this work of Dunaisky, Ferapontov and Krublikov. And they state that Monakov Santini system is some there is a local coordinate system in which any Einstein wave structure with Lorentz and signature is described by Monakov Santini system, which is written here in this form, but but it's equivalent to the Einstein equation. Einstein equation. Or it's not? two plus one. It's two plus one. So the equation oh, is basically two plus one. It means okay. Two plus yeah. one. It means it's, that uh, it's you flat have matrix. this one. Yeah, in two plus one, a Einstein equation means that matrix is flat. Yeah. So here is uh, just a, a, a little bit. Of, and other conditions on the curvature, curvature terms. It's, it's here, so let's once again. This is a connection which doesn't change a conformal class, and this is a condition. Ah, so of the, it's a space of constant curvature. No. no this this is, means. Uh, the, it's no, it's symmetrized. It's symmetrized. Ah, symmetrized. It's proportional to matrix. <laughs> symmetrized rigid tensor is proportional to matrix, where Lambda is some function. Oh, the function. I don't know. Some function. <coughs> so this is it. And uh, so you see that uh, Monacov uh, Santini system is, in some sense, some natural object in geometry. I, I can't say about physical applications at, at the moment, but it also <laughs> contains in itself. A DKP which definitely has physical applications, and in some sense it glues uh, DKP and uh, Pavlov, Pavlov system, and uh, these systems are of slightly different classes. There was a question of figure, uh, what uh, is uh, there, can you consider Pavlov system as a dispersion element of something, and uh, I think probably no, I think probably no. And there are two sources of, in some sense, dispersionless integrable systems. First source is uh, limits of usual integrable systems. <coughs> it's 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1. Another source is when you change uh, in the Lux pair a matrix <coughs> algebra to the algebra of vector fields. For example, you have enter cell dual young mills, and you just change uh, algebra of matrices, the algebra to the algebra of vector fields, and you also get an integrable equation which is having the equation. So it's uh, 
kind of an output connection. And these equations seem to be of uh, connected by different classes. I mean, equations that contain a derivative over spectral variables, variable in large pair, and that do not contain. So. And here, here is a system similar to Monakov Santini system written for distortion is two-dimensional total lattice case, which extends it to also the two-component system corresponding to uh, arbitrary vector fields. And here, one of the reductions is uh, distortion is total lattice, and another is some equations which by its properties is similar to Pavlov equation and is an um, uh, equation from Shabbat and Martinez Alonso universal hierarchy. It's like that. Uh, in that work of uh, Donetsky, Karaponto, and Krubikov, it was demonstrated that this also gives generic. Uh, uh, einstein wire structures, and it's not very amazing because, uh, in some sense, they belong to the same hierarchy with monakov santinia system. But there can be a hypothesis here uh, that a symmetric complex version of this, of this system is suitable for einstein wire structures in the Euclidean case, because uh, what uh, what was uh, proved for <coughs> what was proved for Monaco Santini systems? It was proved for Lorentz uh, Lorentz and signature. Uh, it's possible to write this system symmetric to write a system symmetric and X Y. This is not symmetric, uh, though initial total is symmetric, but it will be more cumbersome. So now I would like to describe Monacov, try to describe Monaco Santini uh, system in terms of uh, uh, differential form, having in mind the eager uh, construction for for discussion of KP, and also there are similar structures for heavenly. So I'll try to start from the very beginning here. So what we have uh, is a pair of commutation uh, vector vector fields. We can try to discuss. So we have at each point we have a two-dimensional subspace and tangent space. We can try to uh, and uh, this uh, and vector fields commute. So this is, there is a term distribution for this object, and its this distribution is in values. You can describe the distribution also by subsp dual subspace of differential forms uh, of co-dimension two in this case. And there is a question: uh, What uh, pro and also you can take a product of uh, the basis taken in the space of form and get one a decomposable form, which uh, is algebraically is characterized by Blucher relations uh, between its coefficients. And there is a question, what property corresponds to involutivity of the distribution? And uh, for this Blucher form, it's a kind of closeness condition, but it's a weaker condition. It's uh, so to say, gauge invariant closeness, it, it, and it's described as existence of uh, this factor, so you can put, find the factor J so that this object, this form, will be uh, closed. So there is an engage class of this form, there is, there is a closed form. And for monaco Santini uh, system, this form is can be written like this. 
So, and we have taken into account blue correlation here, so we have taken some basic coefficients and uh, once have taken, taken into account blue correlation. And these gauge invariant closed in this equations lead some to some equations for the coefficients of the form and what you get from this form is, is exactly a Monaco Santini system. So, and when this form is closed in the standard cells, you get DKP and Hamiltonian vector fields. And the actual other reduction is when uh, all the terms in this form contain uh, D lambda, and in this case it's possible to consider the form one form uh, which, does, which doesn't contain D lambda, contains only D, uh, differentials of uh, special uh, variables x, and so, and it corresponds to vector fields without the derivatives of the spectral variables, and this reduction corresponds to power system. And so, for the hierarchy, what are the general properties? So, considering more variables and higher order polynomials as the coefficients of the form, you come to the hierarchy, and I'd like to define the properties, general properties of, of the form, defining the hierarchy. So the properties are like that. So first properties is this, and it's uh, well known, it's present, uh, say, for TKP, in Nigger construction, and, and effectively it means that the form, means that the form is decomposable. It's when when I consider when you consider the hierarchies with the vector of vector fields of higher dimension, you can you cannot write it in this simple way. When you have forms of the higher order, and so you just postulate Luker Luker relations for the coefficients. But here it's just that simple. And the second property is this gauge invariant closeness. So let us compare it with DKP. In DKP, the construction starts from one form with polynomial coefficients. Then you take the differential <laughs> of this form and get two forms. And two, this two form satisfies this condition. So it's the difference here is that we don't have a closedness condition. We have weaker conditions here. So we can start in this manner from one form. And that, that's the difference uh, with the situation with the uh, DP. So, and we suggest also that the coefficients of this form are polynomial with respect to spectral variable. It's specifically for Monaco Santini factor. The case of Monaco Santini factor. The form possessing these two properties can be represented in this canonical form where these are some ser series. In some sense, you introduce some Darbu variables for, for this form. And uh, for the minority of the coefficients, uh, it can be written of at least to the following condition for, for this form. So, if you have, if your form has some, a pair of canonical variables starting from this with a coefficient 1, then it can be written in, in this form, where this bracket is with respect to these variables. And so, Monaco-Santini hierarchy is generating by this relation. The only question is uh, the structure of this series. And in fact, I cannot say that I, I can prove from what was about that the structure is exactly like this, but 
I think it's probably possible. And this structure, in fact, coincides exactly with the structure of corresponding series in the DKP case. It's just like, uh, it's just the same. The only difference here that in DKP case, the bracket between L and M is equal to 1. So you put here 1 in, 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 in DKP case, you don't have M1. M1 is just, it's just a, so to say, singular and singular and No, you have it. You have something here. I mean, say it's positive, uh, it's uh, positive uh, powers, it's negative oh, powers. Yeah. It's just series in two parts, series written in two parts. It's exactly the same. So, you have this, you put one here, and you get DKP. And this is Monaco Center. So, uh, here are Lux uh, set of equations for the hierarchy, which are implied by this generating relation. Uh, they look like this. Once again, what is the difference with uh, DKP here? The difference is the following. Here you have two equations for two functions which interact, which are connected, and they interact through this term. Uh, for DKP is equal to 1, and equations for L split. You don't have M in equation for L, and so you get uh, standard a uh, large set of equations for, for GP. The only thing probably normalization of times here is a little bit different. It differs by coefficient from standard for GP case. And the first uh, large set of equations here give you corresponds to a large square for Marco Santini system. So what 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 are Lux set equations. Lux set equations define a dynamics of this series through uh, through the series dependent on x given so to say initial times. It's a, it's a set of infinite dimensional one one plus one one plus one system. So, and uh, these the properties of this form are also the basis of some justification of the dressing scheme for, for this case, because uh, you see, uh, what should we do? We should, to solve the hierarchy, we should uh, be able to solve this uh, generator, uh, to solve this relation, to provide the analyticity here. And all other properties are just guaranteed by the, by the structure of the form. So the only problem is some prob some analyticity problem here, and uh, we ask a question. Uh, we we would like to have some problem for L and them in the complex plane, where L and them are not analytic. They may have jumps. They may have non-analyticity in the region, but nevertheless, the form the form should be analytic, and. Uh, the way to provide this is uh, to use the following observation. You see that uh, the for this form is doesn't change under diffeomorphism when you change L and M by some function. But because he, he, here, in fact, this term... But it should be public area preserved. No, no. Here, here no, you have to normalize this term. So this term changes by the same factor as, as not factor, but uh, yeah, at least. So because they can they you, 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 you don't have this first. Yeah, factor yeah, yeah. If you don't have this, you should have area preservative. Here you have arbitrary, but in the end you should check whether you don't have zeros here. So it may be a question. So. And the way, so we said the following problem in the complex plane. 
we have some curve, we have some, we say that L and M has discontinuity on it, but are connected on the sides of the curve by diffeomorphism. Then the form doesn't have a jump on this curve. It's, it's, an elite, it's, an elite, it's continuous on this curve. So it's, it's, it's a way, it's, uh, this problem gives you a curve, uh, gives you a form analytic in the complex plane. And it's, it's also possible to introduce a non analyticity in some domain. And it's also very easy to check that uh, the form is analytic in this domain. So it's, it's, it's basically the, the justification of the dressing scheme. The dressing scheme starts here, and then you should uh, effectively try to do something with it effectively. So and that's about the TKP, what Igor asked. Uh, the form is like this, and uh, uh, you have this property, and a Riemann Hilbert problem should use. Uh, Area preserving diffeomorphism or divergence free function in some sense Hamiltonian in, in the deeper problem. And definitely the DKP uh, case is cleaner because you don't have this uh, possibility of zero in denominator of this element. So here you should check the, the behavior of the bracket between L and M. And then, uh, in some sense, the DKP case is, uh, let's see. So you can solve this equation with arbitrary alpha? This equation? No, 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 the last one. Yeah, this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this integral it's a reduction. It's a reduction of Michael Santini. Mm -hmm. It's a reduction like this. A very simple reduction. The nonlinear non term looks like, okay, like, like, Indeed, like Brando. So it's one of the series of uh, the simplest, uh, simplest in the series of differential reductions that I taught you in the beginning. So what exactly is that constant? Alpha is constant, actually. So it's, it was discovered by Dunaisky that this condition for banakov santini system leads to some uh, to some system describing a, a geometric object also connected with the twister, twist, this twister theory. And so it's, it's easy to check by different ways by, that this is really a reduction. And and so there is some system uh, equations like this. My, maybe alpha, my, my, yeah, it, maybe it's not important here what is arbitrary. X, X, yeah? Yeah, of course. No, X, Y, T, we have to start. Yeah, it's maybe there. And in some, yeah, you can change it, but it, it's interesting that if you do a limited and correct way, that it preserves, in some sense, remembers about DKP and also about power equation. If you do an accurate limit here, alpha to, alpha to zero, it corresponds to DKP, and alpha to infinity, it corresponds to the power of the question. You can just uh, put the correct behavior, behavior of V in this limit. So it, it, it has one component, uh, it, it's one component, but it, it remembers of the origin. So. And uh, here, here is how to uh, describe this uh, general, okay. uh, general series of reductions, higher reductions in this series, and uh, effectively, I will not tell about the technique, but uh, the reductions are characterized by a connection between this bracket and, and L. And uh, uh, the Dunaisky nice reduction corresponds to K equal 1 here. So this is uh, like this. And you have high reductions, and I'll show you how they look like, just uh, just explicitly. So, okay, it's here. So it's it's a second reduction, second order reduction, differential relation like this. Uh, this is a third order reduction, and uh, then mm. what is the reduction? 
Do you write one equation for two variables? No, it's 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 an ad addition to oh. Monaco Centini. So Monaco Centini is a system of four two functions. This is addition. And this is this is reduction. This is additional condition. And you can make you may consider a pair a pair of additional conditions, and you have a system and in one plus one, and, and it, usually it could be put to uh, a hydrodynamic form. It's written here. You can consider. Additional condition as a reduction for interpolation. So, to do something like this, or you can take a pair of reductions of higher order and uh, get a system of hydrodynamic type in one plus one, like that. So, so, and the same you can do for that uh, to the system, and I have. Uh, uh, presented this result in the Institute at uh, Landau days, but uh, you get, uh, instead of uh, the nice interpolation equation, you get this one. It's the simplest interpolation reduction of the to, to, to system. So, okay. I'll finish up this question. I have two comments. First, I would, I would like to see the Hamiltonian structure for all these systems. Or the Walowski of course, I know the Hamiltonian structure. Then I would like to see any physical application, but in my opinion, they could be applied for this description of boundary layer in chromogram compressed. Yeah. Yeah, there are lots of equations here. I think the reductions also can be Давайте сделаем совсем простой эксперимент. Давайте. Будем считать, что вот это есть y, а это есть x. И тогда, значит, напишем уравнение неразрывности d у x по dx плюс d у y по dy равняется на 2, а также d у y. Вот это t плюс у y, d у y по d y плюс у x, d у y по d x. И путь, ну тут давление будем выкинем вообще, ну может быть оно какая-то функция от x, да? Так, да, обычно считается. Ну вот теперь это можно разрешить при помощи функции тока. И его звук у Y будет у нас э, Psi X, а у X минус у нас y. будет минус Psi Y. И мы получаем у нас здесь Psi X T плюс Psi X Psi X Y минус Psi y, psi x, x. Мне кажется, я вам что не Похоже не очень, но там да. немножко... Там. Да. Но что разница? Вот нет еще члена Psi y, да? Да. да? А вот как... Ну, а оно может появиться из-за... Что? Масштабирование в пределе но, но так без этого есть, похоже это очень, да, но... да, 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 конечно, но важнее все пока условия. Да. Это и есть классическое уравнение, правда? Да? Да. Хорошо, спасибо, Лебедев мне велел объявить перерыв до 14.10. 14, 14, да.